Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Alpine Stars Valparaiso V2 Dry Star Gloves. Alpine Stars Valparaiso V2 Dry Stars are what I call mid season gloves, the type that are ideal in spring and in autumn. They're still good for summer riding, although when the temperature gets up into the 20s, you probably feel more comfortable in a pair of unlined summer gloves. There's a dry star waterproof lining, but there's no thermal lining. So in winter, I'd be looking for thicker thermal gloves or maybe even heated gloves, depending on how much you feel the cold. The outer shell of the Valparaiso V2s is made from a combination of soft shell textile and leather. The bulk of the palm is made from leather with an overlay to protect the part that wraps around the handlebars here. There's a suede overlay for reinforcement around the outside of the hand here and there's also a plastic scaphoid slider at the heel of the palm. That slider is designed to reduce friction in an accident and it helps avoid wrist injuries. The sections between the fingers are made from a flexible textile as well with overlays on the forefingers and the thumbs that let you use a touch screen without taking the gloves off. On some gloves, those overlays aren't positioned particularly well, but the overlays on these gloves worked well enough for me. I thought they were quite effective. There's a rubber visor wipe on the thumb, and these gloves give you two. Normally, you only get a visor wipe on the left hand, but these gloves have one on each. The thumb section is made from textile, and there's a leather accordion stretch panel just here to give a bit more flexibility and that section around the cuff. Again, more flexible because it's made from a textile material rather than the leather of the rest of the palm. The gloves fasten with a Velcro cuff and wrist combination, and that wrist strap has plenty of length on it to make sure you can get a secure fit. Moving to the back of the hand, it's mostly made from textile with leather overlays at the knuckles and at the wrists. There's hard knuckle armor under that leather overlay, and there's an accordion stretch panel here that gives you a bit more flexibility and then there's a light reflective strip here that helps the U stand out in a car's headlight beam. The third and fourth fingers are connected by a bridge, which helps prevent the pinky finger from becoming separated from the other fingers if everything goes wrong. So moving to the inside, there's Alpine Star's Dry Star breathable waterproof membrane, and that's secured into the glove with McFit. That bonds the liner in place, so it doesn't come out when you take your hand out of a glove, and that's a really useful benefit. There's, not, there's little worse, really, than having the liner come out when you take your hands out of a glove. Between the membrane and your skin, there's a thin fabric lining, which gives you that little bit of extra warmth. And that for me is the bit that makes these gloves more suitable in spring and autumn rather than the height of summer. This label on the inside shows the CE protection level. They meet level one of the CE standard, including knuckle protection. That's what the KP on the label stands for, knuckle protection. That's the lower of two levels within CE, but the vast majority of gloves that are available at the moment are all approved to that same level, level one. There aren't many customer reviews yet on these gloves, but one potential issue that crops up in the early reviews is the way the cuff works with jackets. These gloves don't have the widest cuff, and I think they're best suited to being worn inside a textile jacket, which is how I personally ride anyway. I've tried fitting these over the outside of a few different textile jackets, and I did manage it, but it's not the easiest process, which is why I feel they'd be better inside a jacket rather than worn over the top. Finally, if you're new to Alpine Stars, then we need to talk about sizing. In my experience, Alpine Stars gloves almost always come up smaller than other brands. I wear a medium in almost all gloves, but always need at least a large in Alpine Stars. And sometimes I might even need an extra large, especially if it's a tight fitting race glove. In these, a large fits me perfectly, so I would recommend going one size up from what you'd wear in other brands, or sticking the same if you already have a pair of Alpine Stars gloves. I hope that gives a very clear picture of the Alpine Stars Valparaiso V2 Dry Star gloves, but if you have anything to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching. 